Welcome to Schools Challenge TV, right from the heart of Cheltenham. We have come to Cheltenham to see two of our main sponsors, Keith Holland and Associates and Breeden School, to see what they have to bring to the party in 2014. David is finding out how to make your eyes work better for you when you are shooting. We have come to lovely Cheltenham in Gloucestershire to visit top optician Keith Holland. In recent years we've worked with a number of athletes encompassing a range of sports including archery, kayaking, cricket and tennis and more recently we've done quite a lot of work with shooting. But why have an interest in shooting? The point that probably comes to mind first of all is that of eye dominance. And indeed, 70% of shooters will have no problems in this area. They will have normal, stable dominance. But that leaves 30% of people who are trying to shoot with some issues in this area. If you want to shoot straight, you have to see straight. And Keith Holland is an expert at helping shooters do just that. Probably the first thing that comes to mind is uh, shooting spectacles. And there are a number of brands of shooting glasses on the market. Some are not all they may seem. They don't really meet any formal standard. Uh, they may have issues with impact resistance. And they may look, may look cool, but are they really doing the right job? So what happens when you visit an optician? First and most basic thing is to carry out a full and comprehensive eye examination so we understand such things as how well you can see, are your eyes healthy, do you have a prescription, and what is your prescription? We then need to take this a bit further to look at how you focus. Are you able to sustain focus on a distant target and follow it without being distracted by the background or by other things in, in your play? Once we've established all this information, we can then plan what we're going to do with you. Are we going to provide you with spectacles, with contact lenses, with shooting specs, or are we going to modify something that you already have? Uh, we're very lucky as a practice, we have our own specialist laboratory and can um, cut, edge and fit the spectacles and produce the, the lenses we need. And we have, as an independent practice, we have access to all the major contact lens uh, brands and types on the market. Keith Holland sponsors the Schools Challenge Academy. One of the uh, roles of the major sponsor is to see what we can do to improve the work of the academy and to help the young shooters coming into the sport. So over the next 12 months we will be working with some of the best shooters in the academy and we're in fact sponsoring the top five students in the academy. We will be assessing them and looking at how we can impact on their performance and providing with the right aids and support for their, their new chosen hobby. Keith Holland Associates, sponsors of the Schools Challenge and TSC Academy, is celebrating 25 years in business. Keith founded the practice in 1989, working mainly with children with learning difficulties. Based in Cheltenham, the practice has now grown to be a world-class optometrist, with patients coming to the practice from all over the world. The practice celebrates 25 years of excellence in customer care this year. It offers a full range of eye care services, from general eye examinations to comprehensive specialist care for vision-related learning difficulties and sports vision. Visit keithholland.co.uk And now we have the Schools Challenge news. The Schools Challenge Elite have been announced. TSC Academy members in 2014 are Tom Hartley, Dominic Arkell, Heather Dunwall, Tom Scott, Peter Hicks, Beach, Nat Payne, James Lewis, Jack Hill, Jack Brearley, William Weaver, Izzy Doherty, Will Ford, Jake Jones, Miles Orford and Alex Pink. These 15 lucky members have shone out of more than 50 applications. It is less than two months until the first Schools Challenge competition. 
The Oxford Schools Challenge and University Championships are the first competitions this year, so book in quickly to avoid disappointment as spaces are limited. Voting is underway for the CPSA Awards 2014. There's only a week to go to nominate your choice of winner. Categories include Young Shot of the Year and Clay Shooter of the Year, so get voting. Visit cpsa.co.uk slash CAA and please vote for TSC to become the Development Initiative of the Year. It would be fantastic to win this great award. Not only did Amber Hill win BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year with the help of your voting, she is now looking for your votes to help her become the face of retailer JD Sports. Please support our clay shooting and get it out to the rest of the world. Search Facebook for JD Sports Official to vote. Another young shooting star in the ascendancy is 17-year-old rifle shooter Larissa Skies from Suffolk. She could be competing for England in this year's Commonwealth Games in Scotland. She made her World Cup debut for Great Britain last year. She won the British Junior Women's Air Rifle title. We wish her the best of luck in the selection. Schools Challenge TV competition time. Open to anyone, any age. Courtesy of Breeden School, Oxford Gun Company and Keith Holland and Associates. We have a pair of have a go vouchers for the first Saturday of any month at the Oxford Gun Company, worth £25 each. All you have to do is answer this question correctly and email me, david at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. The question is, what anniversary is Keith Holland and Associates celebrating this year? Is it A, 50 years, B, 25 years, and C, 10 years? The answer is in this episode of Schools Challenge TV. So watch, learn, and good luck. Please send in your answers by Thursday the 6th of February. Email david at theschoolschallenge.co.uk. Winner will be announced in our next programme from 7.30pm on Tuesday the 11th of February. Now, staying in Gloucestershire, let's go and have a look at a school that has put shooting sports at the heart of the curriculum. Breeden School gained a new headmaster in September and he has made the school stronger with building works and a major investment in the school shooting grounds. Right now, work has stopped on the site because of the recent bad weather, but the school will get a new shooting clubhouse as part of the upgrade. It's a team effort through the staff, through the support staff and the students themselves. All the decisions here we make are about the students, uh, whether it be in shooting, uh, the games, uh, their academic studies, and it's about every individual making the most of the opportunities. Shooting is one of those opportunities where I believe we have the, uh, the facilities now, we have the coaching staff and we have the ability of those students who can really go to the top of their sport. And um, my job here is to make sure those facilities and everything is in place and in click to, to give them that opportunity to reach right to the top and go beyond that once they may be left breeding uh, and continue their shooting career. So what we're applying to the shooting club is also in all the other aspects of the school, whether it be uh, in music and drama, in the facilities for the junior school. Breeden goes from uh, 4 to 18. And it's making sure every stage of a child's development as they go through education is one of excitement, that they want to come to school, they're enthused, they like their friendship, they like their, their opportunities with their, their other fellow students. And, um, Smartening the area up and making things look nice is it's about respecting the facilities and we're very blessed with the uh, pool court behind me here and uh, the other facilities like the new junior school we're developing, the sporting facilities and the new classroom blocks. One of the rising stars of the Breeden School shooting team is Tom Scott. Started in January, came for a taster, liked it and staying uh, and just come here for shooting. Uh, not my old school there wasn't, wasn't any shooting, it was mainly just cricket, football uh, and rugby, uh, some other sports but there's no shooting whatsoever. Um, the, I think more schools should do it because it is a nice sport and it gets you outside. Uh, really competitive it can be with all your friends, so um, yeah more schools should do it I think. 
The Bradian School shooting team is all out to win some of the £40,000 worth of prizes the school's challenge is offering this year. In addition to practising every Thursday at the school ground, they also head off to South Worcester shooting ground every Wednesday to test their skills on targets from the ground's high-rise crane. Um, I've come down here with um, Bradian School to uh, do a bit of practice um, with the A-team and B-team for the um, school's challenge in March. The crane looks pretty impressive. Are they, are they very high? Yeah, they are quite high, yeah, yeah. Have you got the measure of those all right? Um, yeah. And the rest of them, are they doing okay on them? Yeah, yeah, pretty well, yeah. A lot of them um, shooting really well at the moment. If you would like to enter your school or just yourself into any of the school's challenge events, check the website, theschoolschallenge.co.uk. That was Schools Challenge TV. I hope you enjoyed this programme and I hope you found it interesting with the people and the companies we had on it. For more information on how to get involved in the TSC programme, either as a sponsor or as a competitor, please email me on the contact details below or subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on Facebook.